This is the big center square section, the final piece that has to go in and the top roof. You see the four strips around each side. This, this piece is one of the pieces that's always stuffed in the box, but we're going to do some ironing on this as well. Try to also straighten out the strips. You see they're all curved and bent. You want them to be kind of straight when it goes into that roof. So we're going to flip it over and you see they, they have the pockets for the bows. And what you're going to want to do is grab your bows. And most, most of the time the bows are the same size, but sometimes you might want to check the length. Now these are the same size. So sometimes the you know you have longer ones that go in the center and the, the shorter ones go on the ends but for this one they're, they're all the same. Um, now when we took the bows out of this car, the original headliner, um, the hooks were all on one side. Some of these earlier bows they have hooks that actually hook into those top pillars there so we're going to keep those on one side. And then basically, you, want, you might want to clean off the bows if they got a lot of gunk on them or if they got a lot of glue or they're kind of dirty. But uh, just open up the pocket in the headliner on the, where the bows slip in and just slip them in. Okay, just make sure you're poking out the other side. Okay. Okay, got it. Okay, so now just start straighten the, the strips as best you can. A lot of times, like I said, they stuff these in the boxes on the shipping and they get all bent out of shape. So the distance between this pocket and this strip is much smaller than this pocket and this strip. So the front strip has the bigger distance between the strip and the pocket. That's how you know this strip goes into the front. The rear one is a shorter distance. All right, so basically I just kind of grab the headliner like this and just kind of get my way in there, make sure the front is towards the front. All right, so here's your bows. We're gonna just insert them into the, the top. Okay, get this out of the way. Get that in there. Okay, get this one out in here. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay. And one more. If you don't have bows or you lost bows, you can either go to the hardware store and get a dupe or they do sell them at the V-Dub shop, so. Okay. All right. So now that we're up, if you can get us a view of this. Now you gotta start positioning the bows, front or back, and make sure they're even straight across. You don't want one bent in this way, bent the, out the other way. You want it all nice and straight. They should be able to slide okay. If they don't, you might have too much fabric or too much uh, padding up into the roof for where it's getting caught. Okay, All right, so let's start with, I like to start with the front header, the front bow here. Okay, and you get your strip, make sure your strip is facing this direction, kind of inward. You don't want it facing like this, because that means it's not gonna hook onto anything. So you want this to hook. So you want to basically be facing the stitches on the strip and just start inserting it into the front bow. Okay. Just Sometimes you might have to bend it a little bit just to get in. Okay, that's one. Now you get your plastic tool and to help push it in. You can pull on it, give it a little yank, and you see if you, see, I'm hooked. It's not going anywhere. 
That's it. And this is why I put that pad like right above the bow because now that strip can't come out. A lot of times that flips out and then it's too tight, you know. The next step is to then, then do the back. So you want to pull and make sure now your bows are all lined up into the top because this is crucial. You know, you don't want to start putting this in and the bows aren't straight. Then you can't get up in there. So line up your bows, make sure everything's lined up right. All right, so let's start inserting into the top here. And I know it seems kind of tight, but that's good. You want this to be nice and tight and even looking. Okay. Okay. in my tool, get your tool, and start helping it in. Okay, look at that. Yep. Now don't worry about if the other part of the headliner starts to come out. You see it's starting to come out over here. See this part here? It's starting to come out. That's okay. We can get back in there and push it in with this tool or the other tool. Now, to fix this headliner piece, just tuck that back down in there, you see? Just like that, and it'll hold. All right, we're in front to back. Now we're gonna do side to side. Tuck it down, get it in. Now you got the bows over here, so it might be a little more difficult to get them in, but try to get it in by hand first, and then you can use your tool to push it in. Sometimes you can hear it snap in like you heard before. Okay. 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 Front part. Just push it in. This side's going in a little easier, of course, because we still have the other side to hook in. So that's why this is going in a little bit easier. But once we start pulling the other side, okay. and as you can see, as you start to tuck it in here, it starts to get tighter. The headliner's starting to look nice, nice and taut. Okay, so again, use your tool. Make sure the strap, the strip is, is folded in the right direction because it's got to be able to hook. If you have it folded the other way, it has no, it has no place to hook. So, okay, it should fall right into place. There we go. Okay, I see the front starting to come out again. So I'm gonna have to fix that, but let's concentrate on this first. Okay. Okay, that's in. Okay, perfect. Then get that strip in. Okay, good. Now sometimes after we've hooked everything in, you still have some wrinkles as if the material wasn't measured correctly and is maybe a little too long from side to side. So what we actually been trying to do is to actually what we fixed up here in the front, the front patch was we cut some cardboard strips like this and then you get them up into the headliner and start stuffing it down to give it a little more stretch. Now, if I start pushing that down, you see the wrinkles go away. So, that's another tip what you could do is stuff this cardboard strip, maybe about an inch thick, an inch wide rather, um, by, I don't know, say 12 inches or so. And get your tool and stuff it down in there. And look, that'll get rid of that wrinkle. That'll push those wrinkles out, you see? So, just another tip if you want to get a more uniform look instead of having some wrinkles in the fabric. You know, again, it all depends on which company you're using for the headliner. Um, with the tweed material, you usually do not see this. All right, so one of the last parts you got to do for the headliner is then put in the rear quarter window pieces. Basically, just like before, you got to glue, you know, dry on dry onto the pillar here, and just glue that down. And then what you, you want to do is you're in the door panel area here. You can either cut this or you can leave it on. It doesn't matter. The door panels are going to cover this anyway, so it's really not going to make much of a difference. You just want to make sure that this, that this end piece 
doesn't go past the door panel uh, seat there where it would sit. If it goes past there, it's kind of kind of look funny. The door panel is going to be here, and then the material is going to be over here. So you just glue that dry on dry, and then uh, just trim the outside like we did on the opposite side of the window here. You're going to trim that if there's any excess, and then you're good. Next we're going to put in the dome light and what we want to do is make sure you got some clean hands which are going to be rubbing new material. Just want to feel around where the hole is for the dome light and I can feel that it's right up in here. As you can see I'm pressing in on the material. Let's see, so I usually like to make an X. Okay, feel the other corner, make an X. All right, feel in there for your wires. Now, your brown ground wire goes on the side where the switch is. So if you have the original style, you just got to, you know, poke the the bare end of the wire into the screw. If you have a newer dome light, some of the more inexpensive ones have the plugs on them, so you might have to put plug ends on the end of the wires to, to make it work. But they do reproduce the, the old style now, so. Really the final part now is to put in the assist straps, but first we want to find our screws that we left in there so we can feel around and make sure we know where to cut. So what I'm doing is now I cut an X where the material is covering the screw so I can poke the screw through and then finally get it out. See, there's one. Take these two flathead screws out and then what we'll do is we've got to punch holes through the assist straps uh, for the screws to go in. Okay, so here's our new assist strap and what we want to do is we want to be able to punch holes through this so the hook can go through. Now like I said, I mean you see it's kind of thick between the hook and the new material. If you can see how thick that is. For that screw to pass through here and then come out the other end and screw into the body might be kind of tough. So what we need are some long machine screws or self tapper screws. These seem they're much longer and just enough to stick out and attach to the body of the car. So we might have to use those, but what I like to do is kind of line up where the hook would go. It's usually about, I don't know, half an inch or three quarters of an inch from the top of the strap. And I just kind of make a, a dot with a pen or a pencil. Let's see where my, my dots are. And we have an old-fashioned hole puncher, or you can use a razor or some sort of another punch you know, to punch these holes through, but what I do is I get the biggest punch that we have, line it up on the hole, squeeze, sometimes you gotta bang it on the table to get a little more through, and we got our hole. There's our two holes, you line up your, your hook, put your screw through, let it poke out, I like the self-tapper screws because they have the cutting end on them, so they grab pretty quickly. And there's your assist straps, now we're going to in install them. Okay, so here's our two holes here. I took out those Phillip, uh, those, uh, I'm sorry, the flathead uh, screws that came out. These are the originals, as you can see, but they're kind of short to go through the material, the hook, the material, it just won't grab. So I usually use these self-tappers and they grab. If you want to go to the hardware store, I guess, and pick up these screws with the same thread for a little bit longer, I guess you could. Um, you know, but I'm just going to use these self-tappers for now and just get those in. Kind of line it up with the holes. You can poke around. Make sure you're lined up. I can tell this one's about to grab. Yep. I got them lined up. I just turned them in a couple turns 
it's a little loose here like you can see but had to finagle around just to get the screw head uh, the threads into the hole um, and just get them in nice and tight didn't take much to get them tight so and there you go vintage just the straps okay one other thing I forgot to mention was remember the old little hook that went back here okay this is what these old little hook, hooks used to look like they had these up until about 67 so for all of our early bugs that have the multi-piece headliner you're all gonna have this and that little screw is back there remember I told you to put the screw ah uh, there it is right there and there's your final hook okay so here's our headliner we are basically done and as you can see looks pretty good a couple areas we could still touch up here and there but overall that is the gist of it um, in my opinion I like I said I do like the tweed much better you will not have some of these little fine imperfections that you see here in the material tweed really hides that stuff as it's a woven material um, like I said you can cut some of those cardboard strips for some extra tension on the headliner uh, to make this look a little bit better you can try steaming it and then let it shrink um, but overall uh, this is the way the headliner should look and uh, now all you have to do is basically pop the windows in and I have a video on that on YouTube so you can go on YouTube and, and check that out to see how to do that but as for this the sake of this video we are completed with the multi-piece headliner for 63 and earlier Beatles okay so that wraps up the multi-piece headliner for uh, 63 and earlier Beatles um, like I said the key to this is just take your time go slow and if you come into any trouble spots just take a break and maybe go get a cup of coffee or something and then come back take a deep breath and try it again um, right after you put the headliner in the next step basically would be either the carpet or the uh, windows to put in and I have a window uh, video on YouTube or my website at classicvwbugs.com um, so Take a peek on my website, sign up for my newsletter, and uh, we're always having more and more videos come out. So um, if you have any questions, you could also email me, chris at classicvwbugs.com. Good luck. Um.